Hello, my name is Krista Riggins and today we're going to be doing an addition reaction using transstilbene and peridium tribromide to synthesize um, mesostilbene dibromide. In this experiment, transstilbene is brominated using peridium tribromide and ethanol. Peridium tribromide is a salt that dissociates in solution to pyridine hydrobromide and molecular bromine. As a salt, peridium tribromide is safer and easier to handle than pure bromine. However, it is still very corrosive and must be handled with care. Transstilbene reacts with bromine via electrophilic addition. All right, so we have our gloves and goggles on. So first, uh, we're gonna get 10 mils of ethanol, which is our solvent. So here's our 10 mils of ethanol. Um, and we're gonna add it to our Erlenmeyer flask with our um, magnetic stir bar. All right. So now we are going to add around 250 milligrams of transstilbene. So first we're going to weigh that out. Here is our transdolene. All right, so we got 0 0.259 grams of transdolene. And again, we're gonna add that to our Erlenmeyer flask. Now we're gonna gently heat with stirring. So turn our stir bar on and turn our heat on. So once this is dissolved, we're then going to add our peridium tribromide. Remember to be extremely careful because it is highly corrosive. Um, and we want around half a gram. So once all this is heating and dissolving, we'll go ahead and get that ready. So we have 0 0.523 grams of our peridium tribromide. Now that our transstilbene has been dissolved, we're going to add our peridium bromide. All right, we're gonna let this continue to heat for around five to 10 minutes. Uh, while we're letting this heat, we're gonna go and get, um, you can go ahead and get your ice bath ready and get some methanol into your ice bath. Uh, so that way it's ice cold when we go to use it um, after our vacuum filtration. All right, this is our methanol. Just gonna put it in our ice water bath. All right, so it's been about seven, eight minutes. I'm just gonna go ahead and turn the heat off. Turn our stir off. Um, you wanna be careful, you might wanna get hot, hot hand gloves, um, cause this could be pretty hot, but we're gonna remove it from the heat and just let it cool to room temperature. Uh, once it's cool to room temperature, we're gonna put it in the ice bath for a few minutes. Our solution is cold to room temperature, so now we're just going to put in the ice bath um, for two to three minutes. Um, while that is cooling, we can go ahead and set up our vacuum filtration. Alright, now that our solution is dry, we're going to transfer it and get a final mass. So this is what our final product looks like. So we have a mass of 0 0.218 grams as our final mass. Uh, now we're just gonna go and get our, or let's go with 0 0.219 grams as our final mass. 
Um, and now we're gonna go and get a melting point um, for our final product. All right, so here's our melting point apparatus. Here's our solid and here are some melting point capillary tubes. So we're gonna get um, our product in the tube and then we're gonna get a melting point range on our solid. Um, so we want the range to be anywhere from 236 to 237 degrees Celsius because that's the reported range for meso still being dibromide, which hopefully that is what we have performed here. So we're just gonna confirm it with melting point Alright, so we have our melting point apparatus set up here. As you can see, we have our um, product and our melting point capillary. Alright, so we're so since our range is around 236, we're gonna plateau set. I went ahead and set it at 233. You can do 233, 230, somewhere around there. You don't want it. Um, you don't want it at the melting point range because we're gonna ramp it and we'll heat and we'll watch it melt hopefully around in that range um so we're just gonna go ahead and hit start we can go ahead and put our capillary tube in here and we want we want the tube where we can see it all right so it's a little fuzzy Um, so we'll just watch for it to start melting, um, and hopefully we'll get, um, a range of 236 to 237. Looks like it has melted. So we can confirm that this is mesosilbene dibromide uh, with the melting paint range of 230. 236, 237, 238.